Getting results, a Green Valley woman waiting nearly a year right now for uh, unemployment and she claims that she qualified for those uh, benefits and she's now receiving help after a News 4 Tucson investigation. News 4 Tucson's Chorus Nylander with more in tonight's update. Well, we've received several phone calls and emails from some good folks wanting to help Shay Morgan after we showed the desperation she's been going through to try and get the money she's entitled to. It's said there's always a light at the end of a dark tunnel. For Shay Morgan, she hasn't been blinded by that light, but feels for the first time in nearly a year a breath of fresh air. For me, I'm, I'm rich today, I'm telling you. <laughs> Financially, far from rich, but rich with gratitude. I have to say, I have been so touched. It's an understatement. In March, we showed you Shay's struggle trying to get her unemployment payments as the state is cracking down on unprecedented unemployment fraud. She hasn't received a payment since May. She's been running out of food, gas, and waiting to be evicted and left homeless. I'm worried that something will happen and it will just end like that. <laughs> but several people heard her cry for help and offered support. And it just pulled at my heartstrings. Sydney Myers didn't think twice. She made contact with Shay and sent her money for food and gas. She needed it. You know what I mean? She just really needed it and I knew it would help her out. So how do I feel about people right now? I just feel horrible. If I can help out in any way, I will. She just seemed like she could really use help. Then there was Dave Davis who's been on a mission the past 16 months. Well, my, my wife died about uh, 16 months ago and uh, I helped my daughter for a little bit, but then uh, I just really decided I was gonna try and help everybody if I could. So he traveled about an hour to meet with Shay, offered her words of encouragement and money for food and gas as well. You treat others the way you'd like to be treated. And if you, if you do that, it would be a, a better world. There were several others who preferred not to be identified their kindness just as meaningful. They're beautiful and kind. This will not go unnoticed. I know, I know you say you guys don't want it back. I have to do something to give back that kindness to you. Well, a day after our March 30th report, officials from the third party verification service, ID.me, reached out to me and confirmed that Shay was properly identified in their system and say that they will work with her to try and sort out her case. Now, she does tell me last week she received $6,600 that she was owed in unemployment, but she's still owed $3,000. She says DES is just giving her the runaround. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, reach out to us at investigators at kvoa.com or call our tip line at 955-4444. Investigating for you, Course Nylander, News 4 Tucson.